hello, this is Gary Fox, and uh, I'm going to talk about a new CAD video tonight. Uh, this one I'm going to talk about blocks. There's probably going to be about three or four of these. And uh, blocks do not act the way that I expected them to, and I don't really think they act the way they're supposed to do, but uh, whatever, there's quite a few gotchas on this thing, and I've tried to make this video about four times. Hopefully this one will get the job done. So anyhow, what I did was I created a drawing, which I call Nuts. Uh, and there was, I called it Nuts 1, and it's a before block is what I called that. And now I'm going to, uh, I copied it over to another file uh, before I started turning it into a block. So you'll see what I have here. What this is, is a nut for a number six bolt. And I have uh, drawn the face view and the side view of this thing. It actually was a little bit of a pain to draw because I had to draw these ellipses and then trim them to uh, make it look like an actual nut looks like if you look at one closely. And then uh, what I did was I put some information below it. It's a number six. And then some additional information that these are available in 32 or 40 turns threads per inch. And uh, that's called coarse and this is called fine in, in our terminology. So you can get this thing in either, either one. The size of it came from a book. It should be sized exactly the way they come. However, I think all of those sizes are nominal. But anyhow, this is a... Uh, this is a good representation of one. Okay, nuts are something that if you're building something that requires them, and you want to show the details of it, you're going to have quite a few of them probably in whatever you do. So it would be nice not to have to go through all this drawing problem for each and every one. So you want to create a block. Okay, I'm going to give you some opinions. Uh, we use blocks in the, uh, in the CAD systems where I've worked. And the guys that use that do all the CAD, uh, they buy these in the form of libraries from from different vendors. Uh, we're not buying stuff here, so we're going to be doing our own. So I drew the uh, actual nuts. Now you notice I have several layers over here, and one's called nuts, which is the actual object. One is called insert point that we haven't done yet, but we're going to very soon construction layer which was when I actually drew it B text for block text which is actually not going to be used it turns out now but that is the text that says number six and then the one that says additional information which is the 32 and 40 threads per inch okay what you want to do whenever you create a block I would recommend that you always draw the thing full size. Uh, that way it's automatically going to be to scale. Everything you draw is going to be scaled the same. And then you know in real life if it doesn't look big enough that it probably is not big enough. Okay, the second thing that you're going to want to know is you're going to want to know where you're going to insert this thing. And that's the one that's caused me a lot of problems. But I'm going to show you my recommendations of how to do it and how you can do a kind of a workaround. Okay, so when you do the, uh, the block and you want to show the insert point, first thing you have to think about is how do I want to insert these in my drawing? Well, it makes sense that this face view, that we're going to use the exact center of the uh, hole or the bolt that we're going to screw this thing on. In the bottom view, it makes sense that we'll probably use whatever surface that we're going to butt it up against, and then again in the center. So I'm going to draw these uh, insert lines, and I'm going to use this thing called insert point. Uh, so that way I'm always using the same for every block that I do. You might want to call that B insert point. Uh, let's, as a matter of fact, let's do that. Let's just rename it. We'll call this B insert point, B being for block. Okay, 
So we're now on that layer. We're going to draw a couple horizontal lines. I'm going to use the middle. And I'm going to use a line of about a quarter inch because these are relatively small nuts that we're using here. And we go to the center point. We draw that right there. And we draw this one right here. And for insert points, what I do is I normally draw a cross here with it exactly where we're going to be inserting that. Okay, I do the same thing for the uh, vertical line and the vertical line here. So I, I've got this real nice pretty red cross where we're going to insert it at. Okay, now we're ready to create blocks. First thing you want to do, make sure that you make your block using the layer that you're wanting to use, which in this case would be nuts. But to show you what goes wrong if you don't, I'm going to leave it on insert point. And I'm going to create my first block. And I'm going to create it in a way that I'm not going to be happy, but I'll show you what happens. So I did the, uh, let's go back, I do the create block command. I then do the window. And I'm going to select everything. And then I want to deselect, which I believe is this one. I want to deselect those crosshairs. So now only the block, only the nut will be the block. Okay. I do continue action. It asks me, where's my reference point? Well, I want my reference point right where I said the insert point would be, which is at that intersection. And I call this 6 for a size 6 nut, nut, face. That looks like a pretty good name for me. I'd understand what it meant. So I hit OK, and I have now created a block. Well, let's see what happens if we paste that block. And we'll go to nuts. And we will use the block. Insert the active block, and I need to go to free positioning. And everything's looking hunky-dory, right? Watch what happens when I turn off nuts. I turn them all off if I do an insert point. It turned off that whole tie. It turned off the original one, which it shouldn't have. But because that was what uh, we created a block in while we were in the block, we got a problem. So we're going to undo everything we did. And let's see if it's going to undo that. No, redo. Okay, we're going to explode this block. Watch what happens if I decide to delete it. And I may be sorry for doing this. I'm going to delete that block before I explode it. It's going to get rid of that block, and I don't want to go there. So we're going to uh, explode it first. So to explode, we go to Modify Menu. And this little dude right here, it says Explode. We explode this block. Okay, and now we can delete it down here. Yeah, we'll delete everything that's a block, and there are none on there. So it's gone. Okay, now I will stay in nuts this time. At this time, I will create the block. Again, I'll select the whole window. And then once I select the window, I want to deselect those two crosshairs. And when I do that, do continue action. Again, it asks me where my reference point is, which is that intersection. And I caught six nut face. Okay, this time I'm going to be happy with it. So we're going to insert a block. Again, we go to free positioning. And we insert two there. And then I'm going to insert two where I'm still back in insert point. And you notice I still come up blue even though insert point is red. Okay, let's turn off nuts, and I turn them all off. OK, 
if we turn off insert point, that turned those two off. It's kind of weird acting. And that turned off my crosshairs, of course. Kind of weird acting. Uh, and I'm not real sure why that is. It just it inserts it in whatever the layer is, but it keeps the original color. So there's another little gotcha to think about when you're using these things. Okay, let's go ahead and delete those two that are not working the way we want them to. And when you do a block, if you notice when I do this uh, delete, I click on that one part of the block and the whole block is selected, which is kind of nice about blocks, but uh, that's just one thing about them. Okay, we're going to create this block down here also, so we'll create it. We'll make sure we're in nuts. We then do a create block. And now I'll select the window. I didn't want to select anything that was on my crosshairs. And we'll select these two and this one. Okay, we've got everything selected I want to select. Specify a reference point. We'll make it right there where the intersection is on my crosshairs. And we'll call this six nut side. Okay, if we do six nut side, make sure we're in nuts. And we paste. Notice that where my insert point is, is at the bottom side of that, exactly where I have my little red line. So I've got a way of reminding myself if I use this thing six months later how it works. Okay, now let's say that I want to add something to that block, so we're going to go to level zero, layer zero, and uh, for some reason I want an X on this thing. Let's draw this X over here. You'll see why in a minute. And I also want to draw a complete X, so we'll draw it right here. Okay, so you see that modified it, it added it, but it's really not part of the block. Now let's go down here. We'll go to six nut side, and I'm going to do this thing called edit block. And it does it in a separate window. So I am still at level zero. I draw a couple, I draw me an X on this thing. And I'm doing it in the center face this time. Okay. I have edited that. I'll close it. I'm not real sure what happened there. Didn't do what I expected. Well, anyhow, we'll close it up here with this. And now you see that every one of them has that X drawn on it. Because I've actually modified the block, and the block is being copied to all of these ones that are the same block. So that's something to know about, and it's probably something good. Uh, I'm not real sure that at that point, I think I'd want to make sure that I'm 100% the way I want it before I start modifying it. It might affect uh, something I don't want it to affect. But anyhow, and you, we can go back to this. We'll modify it. Well, now delete those two lines we'll close the modify window and they're gone on all of them so that's something to know let's see how many minutes I'm into this I'm at 14 minutes already so I think this is the end of uh, blocks part one there's definitely going to be a blocks part two and part three uh, again, as I said, I don't normally use blocks. If I had to draw them where I had to put a lot of these same things in, I'd probably go ahead and create a block. Um, but you're going to see a lot of kind of cogity things that this thing does. And uh, uh, not exactly 100% happy about the way it works. Anyhow, you'll see more very soon. Thank you for watching. This is Gary Fox for 8 Man.